It is that time of the week, our favorite time of the week, GMA Faith Friday. Now, this one's going to look a little different, not a live guest today, but we are checking in with 91-year-old Dr. John Perkins, one of the original so-called civil rights crusaders. He also, get this, former White House religious advisor, served five presidents. Well, he's sharing insights now on finding light through darkness. His new book is Count It All Joy, The Ridiculous Paradox of Suffering. Take a listen. I expect to see my mother pretty soon. I'm 91, and I know what she's going to say to me. She's going to say to me, what did you do for people like me? Dr. John Perkins, 91 years old, and what a life it's been a life filled with struggle and suffering for this Mississippi native, but also a life full of love, hope, and healing. This son of a sharecropper and bootlegger became a civil rights crusader, shaped by hardships and hard realities of his childhood. After my mother died, when I was seven months old, my grandmother took us in, and we was always sharecroppers. It was the poverty, it was being black, being poor, not inferior. I was not inferior. My grandmother had planted it there. I, I had value. I had worth. She was ready to, to, to die for us. To get away from racism and poverty, Dr. Perkins left his Mississippi home at 17 after the murder of his brother by a town marshal. He headed to California, where an introduction to a Bible school would change his life. My little son, my three-year-old, Spencer, coming back from a Bible club, and I asked him what did he learn. He started singing a little song he had learned. God loves the little children, all the children of the world, brown, yellow, black, and white. They are all precious in his sight. That's what set me off. And so I became a disciple of Jesus Christ. Learning of God's love for him and acceptance of all races, he returned home to Mississippi inspired, becoming a force behind many civil rights demonstrations in his hometown. He led voter registration efforts in 1965, school desegregation efforts in 1967. The governors would be standing in a door to keep the little children from going to school. I think it's that time that my dignity was affirmed sufficiently enough that that song said that this is not happening. This is not happening. In 1971, after being arrested at a protest, he was jailed and savagely beaten by police. That night, behind bars, he made a deal with God. I said in that jail, if I get out of this jail tonight, I want to preach a gospel, a love of God, that can burn through this black and white issue. That became my mission. He got out of that jail and then was nursed back to health by white medical professionals. Apprehensive at first, their love and care healed him physically and spiritually, amplifying his belief in God's message. But given it is the acid test of the Christian faith. In a society in need oftentimes of connection and strength, Dr. Perkins now with this Faith Friday message. That individualism and massive hatred based on some sense of inferiority is the mess that we're in today. And we're going to sell that with a language of love, a language of affirmation, a language of dignity. Love is what we need. Love is what we need. A very simple, poignant message. Love is what we need. We should have had him on with Justice Sotomayor. It would have been a nice, <laughs> a nice segment there, right? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.